So this is. Uh... <laughs> Good. That was like this is when I was like in my second semester of animation and everything. Yeah, but I don't know about that last one. Yeah, <laughs> the laptop one. But this is like something I was doing in my job. It was like a two D like After Effects animation. This is from tape. So bad. <laughs> This got me my job in Hong Kong, so the standard wasn't high at all. Oh no, no, this was um, no, no. Sorry, I was already at work in Hong Kong in my studio, like this TV yeah. commercial studio where I was a journalist, and I was doing animation mentor at the same time during that time, and I was firing this reel to everywhere, and obviously I didn't get any response. Um, so yeah, that's. <laughs> That's the reel that I got no response for. Um, <laughs> it was so pretty yeah, random. Was I gotta say, like, it was very like. Yeah. If it gets you a job, it would be like. I mean. At like a really. I mean, come general on. Kind of place. You you'd maybe get like ad work for this. Like maybe you look at this. In an ad agency or something. Look at this. <laughs> this was. That was definitely not a real shot. So I, I made all these things during TAFE, which I thought I was really proud of at the time because I was I love the modeling. Um, but that was definitely terrible animation and yeah, <laughs> so bad. Oh my god. And then my this was from I mean, TAFE. This as isn't well. half bad. Like this is like or like for first time, I'm sure this is actually it's actually not bad. You know, yeah, as I, a tech bring real. And modeling real man, I was like, yeah. I was crying. Like I was like, I spent. <laughs> no, I loved it. I loved it. Um, I for, I spent for so the much time, time. is actually all right, man. I think it's like, yeah. Oh man, it's just the real is confused. Yeah, yeah, definitely <laughs> very confused. And uh, I want to show you like, I guess what landed me a job eventually at Luma, um, which was my first, which is where I met Billy and um, where my first TV gig, right? So this is my first character animation. It's only a year later. Yeah. Well, I can't see. Are you still screen sharing? Oh, I thought I was screen sharing. Oh, you said <laughs> <laughs> no, Yeah, you're just sitting there. I was like, wait a second. What is he doing? <laughs> I was just looking at your face. <laughs> <laughs> You're just watching your reel. Yeah. I was like, wait a second, wait, is he watching me without us? <laughs> oh, that's too good. Oh my god. Okay, cool. All right, now I'm gonna play it again. He's trying to drown me. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm gonna die. Gonna die. Yeah, um, this already looks a lot better, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like when I look back at it. Work there for two weeks. Collaborate. You haven't signed over the rights yet. Yet. You must make this work, Mrs. Travis. Oh, I must, must I? You need the money. I don't want to see Stop you go. Stop saying money. It's a filthy, disgusting word. And that was it. Three shots. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> That was some strong acting and it was, uh, it was nice. And yeah, you know what's, yeah, like, uh, mechanics, uh, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I was only focusing on like the acting shot and the, oh, let me, I guess I should talk through it real quick. Yeah, but my, like, this was the final shot that I did for my class. And I yeah. thought this was my strongest, my strongest one. Um, that's why I put it first. 
Um, that's another thing. Like you should put your strongest, your strongest shot first. Yeah. And yeah. Um, that's the and first then, thing. Yeah. And the, see. exactly. And the last shot should be maybe your second or third strongest only because it ends up yeah. good enough. And anything that's in between. Mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know. I did all the rendering. I wish I was more proud of than my animation. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good rendering too. <laughs> like, is it, like for a see, non non lighting yeah. rendering. Office. This is a uh, all the mental way, the fuzziness. <laughs> 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 but um, uh, funny, like crazy story. Uh, the person, the mentor who guided me through this series of shots, is my current boss. So, yeah, so my mentor- Did you show him these? Dude, I'm scared. <laughs> like, I showed I, I'm scared that he'll remember and be like, no, this is terrible. <laughs> yeah, I know, we gotta fire this guy right now. <laughs> gotta get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, why did we hire him? Uh, uh, but that's this it. This is like a long time ago, like, was that years yeah. ago, right? This is 20, 2014. Um, yeah. I, I think I showed, uh, I finished in November, October of 2014, and then I got a job at Luma um, in November. Like I got the yes, and then I flew over by January. Yeah, yeah. So it was pretty That's, quick turnaround. It was good timing to it, because I think um, mm -hmm. we're doing like Figaro, Figaro Phone. Mm -hmm. It's like a kid's TV show. And there is a lot of like pantomime. It's all pantomime acting Yeah. in the in the show. Yeah. So I think like the fact that you had like a reel with like, you know, decent amount of acting in there and like, you know, one body mechanics ish kind of shot, mm -hmm. I think was enough, you know, and it, it's kind of like in the same style, the, the body mechanics thing. It's like very figuro yeah. yeah. in a lot of ways. So just I more a bit more like, cartoony, you know? Yeah, yeah. It was like both a combination of you having like decent shots as well as like timing and the necessity and then the fact that you're Aussie, I think yeah. also helped. Oh yeah, I like, think so. I definitely yeah. think that helped. Um, yeah. For a TV because show. The yeah. Sh yeah, the yeah. show was done in Australia. So like, of course there was like incentive for for mm -hmm. the government to hire Australians. Yeah. For the studio, you know, the government was giving incentive to the studio to, mm -hmm. to hire local talent. So I think um, it, it kind of all just worked out, I think in yeah. the rounded thing but if you sent that first reel oh sorry. yeah i know if you said that the 2013 <laughs> reel you wouldn't have got the job i am <laughs> I sure so. i am certain that i wouldn't have gotten the job i would have gotten the like i would have gotten the job maybe for like at the end of the project where I, there's like qcing and they're just like oh we need someone who can use maya you know? clean up. yeah someone yeah. who can use maya and clean yeah. up penetrations yeah <laughs> uh yeah that's what yeah so yeah. i think yeah, it it was like it pretty much everything you said um was like super helpful, I think, to, to get you the job, like putting your strongest and then I'm sure that was, that was information that like like animation mentor all the time were like telling the students as well. They're like yeah strongest shot first, weak shot, you know, in the, the weakest in the middle ish. Yeah. Don't put weak shots in, but like your weakest yeah. your yeah. bunch. You yeah. kind of put in the middle and then you finish like really strong. Yeah. Well. Yeah. There's a recipe and uh, I'm not sure whether that works. They also said no music, but you know, my latest reel, I have to, I added music only because, yeah. you know, I'm like, Why you know not, what? Yeah. at this stage in my career, I need some, I need some, I need some music in my, in my demo reel, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, I need some excitement yeah, the, and some energy. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, um, I think what they were, um, the whole no music thing makes a lot of sense when mm -hmm. like i guess you're starting off and it is all about your animation mm -hmm. you know like at some point in your career it's not going to be all just about your animation it'll be about you know like your style and like who you are as an artist as a as yeah. a human being right because that's more important than your animation the animation at some point is a given like, yeah. people already know okay this is this person's vetted they've done enough projects they've done x amount of projects we just want to know this is a cool person to mm -hmm. work with so yeah. like adding a little bit of personality to real at that point isn't such a big deal 
Yeah. But when you're first starting out, it is all about your animation. Yeah. So, you know, anything that distracts away from the animation is going to take away from your reel. And I think that's an important thing to understand. That's why they, I think a lot of schools say, like, don't put music in. Because yeah. if you put like a heavy metal song, you know, with, with your animation, that's all the recruiter is going to see. That's yeah. all they're going to hear. They're just going to be like, this heavy metal song, I can't deal with it. Next reel. They always said this to me, like, what if, like, you're giving someone an additional, like, you're basically setting yourself up for a risk, right? Because what if the person who is watching the reel doesn't like the song? And then they're going to judge your reel, even, like, subconsciously or intentionally. They're going to judge your reel differently. Like, if you put, like, some EDM trance song on your, you know, on your demo reel, <laughs> and I saw it, I would be like, dude, stop. Like, you know, I don't. I just can't. No, I don't need something. I do this right now. It's like yeah, 8 a.m. Yeah. in the morning. Yeah, exactly. Like, I haven't even had my coffee yet. I'm just getting through yeah. some reels before I start yeah. the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put this EDM thing on. I'm like, I can't. I can't yeah. do it. Yeah. Exactly. And some people are really like, you know, like are anal. Like, remember, these are artists that are uh, looking at your reel as well, like that are choosing to hire you. Like, these are anim soups and anim directors. And, you know, they're artists and a lot of them play music as well um, from my experience and they have a strong opinion of music so if you know if if you get yeah i think i just think that just you're setting yourself up as a junior yeah, yeah. to but the amount <laughs> of yeah. the risk reward is just not worth it i think exactly you know just yeah. putting the music on it's like you don't really gain much from having the music if if you're honestly just going for an animation reel yeah, it, it doesn't even matter if you can, like any real like modeling, animation, texturing. Maybe yeah. maybe modeling you can put maybe something modeling. on there. Just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just so there's something to go off. Um, but like honestly, I'd rather just have like like if yeah. it's modeling, like you could just have like something really low fi or something. You know? Yeah, like, I think yeah. You don't need anything crazy. A very you know, just, yeah, a very how do you say it? A very PC soundtrack. That's what I would say. Yeah, like, exactly. Nothing, Try to go for nothing it. polarizing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you have to put music on for yeah. whatever reason, yeah, just make sure you find the yeah. most yeah, yeah, universal. Yeah, and that's got to be lo-fi or something. Right? Yeah, calming. Lo-fi jazz. Never go for yeah. crazy energy ones. Like people yeah, don't yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't go for high energy. Yeah. yeah. Um, like don't go for like yeah, Gucci um, or some or something where there's a drop, <laughs> you know. I feel like that's just gonna yeah, that's gonna create problems. Yeah, it's gonna turn yeah. people off. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna yeah, let me show mine. So this these are the reels that got me the the job at Luma. Given that it is like it was like you know, almost like eight years ago. Yeah. Uh, show the animation reel first. Let me see. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow, dude, this is very good. Dude, your reel is really good. I don't know about that. <laughs> Are you serious, man? This is really good. So I already had some, um, I had some work experience already. Some of the things like were just what I did during study. But yeah, a lot of this was like just my final year reel <laughs> and just some other random things I've done here and there. I remember you showed me this before and I thought this was so cool. It's so like wacky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So pretty short. Sure it was only like a minute. There's a lot yeah. of stuff in there. And looking back, yeah. there's a few things I probably wouldn't put in there. Yeah. <laughs> it was my first reel. Yeah. Actually, let me quickly go through. So I think it helps like putting, because I didn't just, um, I didn't just anime. Like I did, I did do the facial rigging and yeah. I did do a bunch of stuff um, in this. So I think that actually was a bonus. You know, wow. Like the, the fact that 
It wasn't just the anim. It was like, okay, this this kid can rig and facial rigging. It's not like a simple. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a simple thing. Right? Yeah. Dude, you already knew how to do like eye darts and blinks. God damn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, uh, I was watching a lot of tutorials at the time. This I wouldn't <laughs> put in. Just uh, for an animation reel, this is not good animation. <laughs> but for a but style, the, I love the style of it. Like, yeah, you know, I like it the was look very, it. it was meant to be, yeah, the look of it was like yeah. definitely really cool. It's like, I was proud of how it ended up looking in the end. Yeah. The, the studio that I was working at made it look really cool. But yeah, the, it was very intentional, the whole like uh, super posy, no overlap kind of thing. Yeah. It was super intentional. And Ju like just judging from an animation standpoint you can't tell anything from this like i can't tell how good of an animator you are just from that yeah if anything i would look at it and be like this kid doesn't know how to do overlap <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna hire this guy anyone can do post to post but you, know, if you can't overlap then it's, yeah. then it's over there's a little bit of overlap on that but um this is cool and the rest were just um yeah it's cool it's this cool. actually helped this, this had a lot of weight. Help. <laughs> that's what actually helped. Um, I think that's this is what actually got me the job. Surprisingly, yeah. Um, because I when I was applying, it was for the Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. I didn't know at the time, but like the real none of it was relevant other than maybe the rigging and this shot, because yeah. it was for a VFX company. Loom is like a VFX company. Um, in the back in the day now it's a lot more like kind of general but back in the day it was strictly the effect and then the animation suit saw this and was like okay like it's not great but like he's mm -hmm. done some creature you know yeah yeah and then he's he's got a he's got like you know it's not like a simple creature to animate. Yeah. so he was like okay i have something to work with here yeah and, yeah you know what also helped is like i had a second reel there was like a field where you can put a second reel in. So I yeah. put this as my second reel, which is like a general, generous reel. That is so cool. And I think dude. my animation reel wasn't strong enough on its own to get me the job. He told me this like maybe like a couple of years later or whatever when I got the job. He's like, your animation reel like probably wasn't worth giving you the job alone. But the fact that you had like, you were a generalist in a sense. Yeah. Wow, dude, that looks awesome. <laughs> Looking back I, now, I'm like, mm, I'm not so sure anymore. I mean, it's dated, <laughs> but this guy's cool. I like this guy. I like this teddy bear. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was this this rigging portion, which also helped me mm -hmm. um, get the job. Like all that stuff prior was irrelevant. It was like this bit and the walk cycle and yeah, that was, that was really it. Wow, the bendy limbs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a really outdated style for facial rigging. So yeah, <laughs> nobody facial rigs like that anymore. <laughs> but at the time, it was all the rage, like the, sec the second hard gooey thing for facial yeah. rigs. Um, and these, these shots also helped, even though they're not like perfect, and they're not great. But the fact that I had some body mechanics Oh my god, actually, I feel like I've seen these before, somewhere. <laughs> Maybe you saw it during the show night. Oh, uh, yeah. Show. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so... Wow. Yeah, and then, um, I don't think the rest is really that relevant, but show it anyway. Just, a lot of it is just kind of repeat from, from the animation reel. No, that's so cool. Dude, you did this like I remember you showed me that you painted all the textures on for this, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. These That's textures crazy. all hand painted. It was the most yeah. painful thing I have, <laughs> I have ever done in three D. <laughs> I think I spent like two weeks just painting all the textures because it wasn't just like I didn't cheat the the lighting. It wasn't rendered or anything. Yeah, yeah. But the lighting, I painted in all the lighting. The only lighting that was done was the uh, shadow. On the, yeah, on the guy, but the. The rest of it was just like painstakingly like painted all the shadows. Dude, um, I know how you feel. Very dumb. Very dumb. I did that the <laughs> same for my texture reel. Like, I was just 
paint, well, I, I, I didn't paint shadows. I painted fucking grunge and like, <laughs> and still, you know, stains and stuff. And it was just, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. But this is what got me. So I got the job and then I left because it was a short contract. It was for the Winter Soldier. So, and then Luma was doing another project, but it was an animated thing. So that's, this is where I met Jamie on this animated TV show for kids. And because I hadn't proven myself in um, like animation, I guess, like with acting and stuff, I had to do a test. So this is the test I did. And this is what kind hey, of fellas, could you please bring it down a little is. bit? Uh, we're trying to have dinner and the walls are really thin. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a short little, short little test thing. It's not great looking back at it, but the brief was like pose to pose. <laughs> they wanted yeah. to see pose to pose kind of thing. That's cool. So, yeah, I, I like that. I try to make it look pose yeah. to pose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, uh, it was good enough to, to get me the, uh, yeah. the job back to do the animated thing. Wow. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool to watch all these things. Even just like even watching my own and watching yours and I'm like, dude, there's a clearly there's a level gap. Uh, <laughs> I don't, like, I don't like, know about that. The I think country. animation wise, your ones were like definitely stronger than, than mine animation wise. Um well, I think what like helps for me was like I had all the other stuff mm -hmm. that I could like showcase. Yeah. So um and I guess that's like a really good point to make i think if you're starting out and you know that maybe you're not like the strongest in any one area but you have like a really kind of broad skill set like that's that might not be relevant to a lot of places but it is relevant still to a lot somewhere. of other studios like a yeah. smaller yeah somewhere would care that you have a lot of skills yeah so i think that's something to consider like as well like if you're applying for a very specific role like animation mm -hmm then they're going to mostly be judging you on animation. Yeah. You know, but if you're applying to like a, an advertising studio, like the chances are they, they don't want to see that you can just do one thing. They probably want to see that you can do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. That's They can utilize you in a lot of different ways. Yeah. So they might give you a contract and you might be jumping between like animating, modeling, mm -hmm. rigging, and doing all these small little, you know, tasks like that. I honestly think so, like, yeah. Um, and I would have to say, like, I mean, we, we talked about this, like, a lot before as well, where, you know, in the, you know, at the time, yes, like, you know, your anim for example, your animation reel might not be as strong, but in the long run, being a generalist is actually, a, you're more, you're at a better advantage than most people, um, yeah. you know, because a lot of, a lot of things about this job is technical as well. And it's about getting the job done. So it's not just, it's not purely just animating, even though you're in animation. So, yeah, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah don't sure. worry if you are just a generalist and your, your animation is might not be as good as your, like, you know, your other sets of skills. Um, yeah. Those things will catch up and those things will at one point like merge together and you'll have this really yeah. str and when your animation catches up to everything else you're going to be this power like like a power player <laughs> like you know yeah and, yeah and you're gonna have a, like a lot of like a lot of really decent like level you know multi multi-skilled kind of thing. yeah i yeah you know if you're just purely in animation as well then mm -hmm. that's that's not a worry either because you can yeah. pick up generals skills later on or you know you can start dabbling in other things when you have the time but you know there's you ha you have to kind of pick your own strengths like if you know animation is the only thing you want to do ever and that's like the thing that you're the strongest at Definitely. then you know yeah. maybe just focus on that you know no mm -hmm. one's saying you have to go generalist yeah and that's kind of like what you did for a long time as well like you're just focusing solely on animation yeah um and you got to like a really high bar now and now you know but you also had like a lot of general skills as well um yeah. which you kind of you like diving back into here and there yeah uh, i mean i think what i time. when i noticed it was like you know it was useful was when we did our first channel um yeah and like and now <laughs> we had to do so many different yeah. things 
<laughs> yeah, and if it wasn't, if it was just you who could only do the journalist things, I like, I think we would have, we it wouldn't have, like, I'm not sure whether we would have struggled a lot more. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, I think, I think yeah. yeah. If you want to do your own, like, create your own content, that's a good point. It's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to be generous. There's no other way about it. Anything. If yeah. you if you're trying to create your own content. Then yeah, you, you kind of need to have like a decent level and everything. Yeah, or at least a baseline knowledge of of all things. Of everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and that way you can kind of cover all your bases. And you need to be able to like render and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, so things are changing nowadays. I think in the the space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's for another topic. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, things are changing a little bit now. You can use like game engines and stuff like that too. Yeah to render the final image yeah, yeah exactly so but yeah so i mean i hope you guys like after looking at our reels you guys don't feel too, too um well i mean not billy's billy's one is actually good so <laughs> this yeah. there's definitely yeah. like areas where like, it can be improved but but yeah like after seeing mine i'm sure like that people don't panic like i still managed to get a job <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so like, your, your animation reel is actually really good like even looking at it now like it it holds up i think for a junior like that's like really good that's i mean looking back at my animation i'm like man i don't think i was like at that level so mm -hmm. i feel like i'm lucky to get the animation job <laughs> <now>. <laughs> after like having to compete with guys like you with that animation reel so <laughs> Well, I definitely don't like, thank think. Goodness for my general <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think like like people have got like there's more like people have gotten better, definitely in the field. Um, yeah. The standard has gone up even from students. Um, so you know, but I think there's it's all like uh, honestly a lot of it's about timing and whether a student yeah. needs someone and you know people should just. Yeah, don't don't worry too much and just keep yeah. keep on going on, you know? Um you know, like just thinking about like um our reels, like our starting reels, I think we could like, you know, not to sound cocky because I'm not trying, to, mm -hmm. but I think even now with those same reels, we could still get a job. You know. Yeah. If, I think if so. we had to start over again and we had like ground zero, no experience, and, and we had to use those reels in this, you know, climate in this day and age mm -hmm. against people who are like coming out of these schools now, we could still get a job. Not saying like our, our chances might be a lot harder now because the, the pool of talent is much bigger, but it's not at a point where I don't think the quality isn't there enough that we couldn't get a job from it. There's Actually, definitely a lot to, to love from those reels still. Actually, there's a good way to test it, uh, and it would be good. Like, if actually people uh, want to see, like, um, you know, let us know in the comments. But maybe we can. Oh, have you gonna apply alias. to some fake studio? Yeah, yeah. We can apply to a studio with an alias. You know, I'll just change the name of my name card, and then see whether <laughs> I'll get a job interview. You know. <laughs> that's but yeah. pretty funny, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the only way to test whether the standard is still the same and whether. Well, not like, you know, I mean, of course there's some variables, but, um, but yeah, it would be interesting to see whether that would land me a junior job somewhere. Um, yeah. 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 I'm curious. So, yeah. So if you guys want to see that, please let us know. Um, and yeah, like Rich, uh, we've never said this in uh, our channel before. And um, I actually figured like maybe we should, uh, if, <laughs> if we don't, we can cut it out. But like, <laughs> I wanted to say like, we're trying to grow our channel. We're trying to grow it like um, to grow it a bit bigger this year and the upcoming year. And it would be great if you guys can, if you guys like the video, please subscribe and like the video. So YouTube picks up on the algorithms and you know, all that stuff, all that jazz. Yeah, all that kind and of this stuff. Every, every sub helps, you know, yeah. like every, every view, every sub, every like, every yeah. comment, it all like helps us, Yeah, you know, in, in like to help build the channel. So please. Yeah yeah help us yeah and if there's anything you guys want to see um yeah leave us a comment or even message us or join our facebook group uh but yeah that's um that's it for another episode of the uh, anim jab podcast and we'll catch you guys next time peace peace thanks for watching or listening to our content if you like what you saw feel free to subscribe to our youtube channel 
Thanks again. Peace.